Hi, I'm James. Today I'm going to show you how to remove logos from small objects. There are lots of different ways to actually remove recognizable signs, but this particular method is really well suited to small logos like this one here on the front of the camera. So what I'm going to do is just zoom in so we can really see what we're doing. I'm going to remove the Argus logo so it's just a plain piece of metal there. The first thing we need to do is create a new empty layer. And if you have any adjustment layers already in place, make sure that the layers that you're creating now are created in between the background layer and those adjustment layers, just so that those adjustments are actually applied to the new layers we're creating. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit more, and there we go. So the thing about this is that we can't really clone because there's not very much space to actually clone from. So it gets really messy. So what we need to do is actually paint over this area and then just add a bit of noise just to make it blend in with the rest of the image. So I'm just going to hold down I on the keyboard and then sample the color from that area. Now pressing B, I'm just going to hold down Shift and the left square bracket key to get a nice soft edged brush and then I can start painting on. So I'm now actually painting into that empty layer there. So I'm just going to Control Z that because I've made a bit of a mess. I'm going to use a slightly smaller brush and it's really best to go over the whole thing here. We don't want to have color changing across the area too much. So you can also do this with signs on vans and signs on buildings, things like that, where they're not really very big in the frame. What I'm gonna do at this point is just sample again from up here, just because I saw that it was a little bit of a different color and you see there is a bit lighter. So I'm just gonna sample again, I'd like to really find that slightly darker color. Let's see if we've got that. There we go. So I'll go a bit larger on that brush. What I'm going to do now is go a bit larger again just to feather the blend slightly. So there we go. That's, that's it there. And where I had a bit, little bit of bleed there, I'm just going to hold down shift and use the right square bracket key to get a really nice hard edged eraser tool. I just pressed E to get that up. I'm just going to take that along there. So that's looking good, but if I just move down here, you'll see there's a bit of grain in the image. So what we need to do is try and mimic that the best that we can. So I'm going to create a new empty layer and I'm going to load the kind of area what we've just painted on is occupying. So I'm just going to hold down control and that will load up that area for me. And now what I'm going to do is just fill that with mid-tone gray. So I'm going to hold down shift and F5 and for the contents, choose 50% gray and hit OK. So I've got a few patches here that aren't included, so I'm just going to get the eyedropper up again, sample that grey, and then just paint that area in so it's totally covered. And now I'm going to hold down Control and D to deselect that, and change the blending mode to overlay so it's completely transparent. Now we're going to go up to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and that's way too much there. You can see that it's, it's more than we've got there, so let's just reduce that one step at a time. I'd say that's still a bit too much. Let's go down to three. And that is looking sort of close. So make sure that Gaussian is selected for distribution and monochromatic. Otherwise, we'll get color noise in there, which doesn't work quite as well. So then hit OK. And now what we need to do is just blur it so that it blends in a bit better. So go back up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and Let's try an amount of 0.2. So that's still a bit too sharp for me. I'm gonna go 0.3, still a tiny bit too sharp. And let's try 0.4. That's fairly close to what we were getting there. So I'm gonna hit okay. And there we go, that's the logo removed and looking as close really as we can get it there and as natural as possible. So that's how to remove logos from small objects in Photoshop.